Hey, so it's your girl Risa coming to y'all this morning. Good morning, y'all. Well, it's almost afternoon here. Um, yeah, I slept in a little late. Um, I'm getting ready to cook my breakfast. Well, I'm already in the midst of cooking breakfast. Here they come. Hey, mommy. Hey, good morning. Hey, mommy. Hey, man. Look at that. Nappy head and all. Mm -hmm. So we getting ready to do kill several Me birds with one stone. Okay, can I talk a minute? Get in. Thank you, baby. Hey, you not good. eating Jack Michael patties? Well, I want some bread. I'm hungry. Oh, okay. Are you done? Yeah. Oh. So I'm getting ready to make my Jack Mackerel patties and I had someone comment under my breakfast video yesterday that they wanted me to show how I make my patties. There's a difference between Jack Michael and salmon. I don't like salmon. It's too dry. The whole crew is in the kitchen almost. Come here. Here Jalen. Jalen's standing right here. Come say good morning. Come say good morning. There's Jalen. Good morning. There's Janae. Of course, Ashley's standing here eating out the bacon. Well, I didn't Mia. know that we had to be out There's the kitchen. Mia. No, you don't oh. have to be out the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> I need Mia to move, though. So, this is the kind of macro that I use. It doesn't have to be this brand, but as long as it says macro in brine. Okay? There's one that says chub mackerel. That's nasty. I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head because I don't know, but I tasted it and it does not taste like this. Now, this is what they look like out of the can. It's a piece of fish. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, in the middle is the bones. So, you just split it apart. Just like that. Okay. Now right here is the bone. And you just pull that out. Just run your finger down it like that. And you can feel it. It's real fine. And that's the bone. Okay. I got a separate bowl right here that I put that in. And that's what you do. You want to feel to remove all the bones. And see it's a little a little spinal column that's what you want to remove and you just break them open like a cookie there's baby want to say good morning good morning <laughs> So that is what you do. I have two cans of mackerel. I'm not sure how many pieces come in a can. I guess it depends on the size. How many? So I'm just going through and I'm taking all of that out. To me, this is a. I haven't learned how to do it with using a spoon to take it out. I'm hands on. I guess once you get comfortable in the kitchen, you'll get used to putting your hand in food. <coughs> some people do and some people don't. As long as your hands are clean. Now, what I do is take them and just break them up. I can do this with my hand or I can break it up with a fork. But I choose to do it with my hands because I'm feeling for any uh, bones that I may have missed. And these bones are so fine that you can mash them up with your fingers. It's like right there, found a piece. Jalen's standing here so she can eat. She's ready to eat. She mm -hmm. likes sardines like her dad. And they do taste like sardines. So I'm just mashing it up. Now, I grew up with my grandmother. She would um, dice up onion. That fresh onion, saute it in a little butter. And then put it in there. Oh, y'all don't know. But my kids don't like the onion, so I use onion powder. Don't use onion salt because it has a lot of salt in it. 
And so all you need, what I use, you can put in the seasoning you want in it, but I just use cayenne pepper, onion powder, a little black pepper, and a little salt. Give me um two eggs out of the refrigerator, Jayla. You're gonna need two eggs and a little bit of flour. Um, about three tablespoons of flour for two cans, and maybe more than that, depends on, um, you know, whether you use both cans, the juice out of both cans or one. Now, I only use the juice out of one can. I, I drain the first can off. And so after you shred it up, this is what you get. Okay. So let me wash my hands. Back up. Y'all move to your mouth up open. Let him get down. Okay. Both of y'all. Thank you. <clears throat> Got my hands washed. Hold on, y'all know I'm short. Gotta get my flour. Oh that's the one. I call myself getting prepared for this. I <laughs> still miss something. So I'm gonna crack my egg. That's to bind it, hold it together with the flour. This is a half a cup, but I'm not going to use that much. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. That's about, that's not even half of that. So, you know, about a, let me see, pull that back in there. There's a measurement. I think that's like a third of a cup. I think. Uh oh. Okay, sit you right there for a minute. I already have my bacon done, my grits. I just got to do my mackerel and my eggs. I always let my eggs be last. A little salt. Black pepper. A little cayenne pepper. And that's about about a teaspoon okay or half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper it depends on whether you like spicy food we eat it around here and about two tablespoons of onion powder I'm gonna mix all of this together Got my stove on. Let me turn it up so my grease can get hot. I had it down on low. Let me move this. I'm gonna leave these because I gotta scramble my eggs. So now I do have one more egg on standby just in case I need it. This is what it looks like. I know the lighting is bad. I think that should do it. So get my grease hot. I have to clean up all my...
sun was the matter. Always have your your bleach, your rag, your dish rag, and I like to put a little bleach in my. I, I just do. I think I'm gonna use a little more flour. So this is starting to get hot. There we go. It's thicker now. Not as runny because I want these to hold together. It's not going to change the taste because you've already put your seasonings in. Had some grease that I, I always save my grease. I fried some french fries yesterday and so I saved the grease and I put it over here. Keep it in my little pot just in case I want to fry some more french fries today but I won't leave it there because I knew I was going to be cooking today and I needed that extra grease. So pour a little bit in there and just take a little scoop at a time. Turn it down. You don't want to cook them too fast. You want them to get done all the way through. And it don't take but a few minutes. And please don't ever overcrowd your pan whenever you're cooking anything. Whether it's chicken, frying bacon, anything that you have to fry. Or if you're browning something, never overcrowd your pan. Always make sure you have um, enough room for everything to cook. After a few minutes, after a few minutes or about a minute, you should be able to turn them over. But I splattered and grease everywhere. show you what they look like when they're cooking. Hey, sugar. That is it. This is an old, old, old frying pan that I got from my grandmother. And this was one of her um, skillets that she would scramble her eggs in. She only used certain things to scramble her eggs in. Out of the kitchen. How many times I'm going to tell y'all booger bust that? Mm-hmm. steal me a piece of bacon. Mm. That's that bacon with that hard rind on it. Mm, mm, mm.
That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say tune this on camera, but you know I will. I said I wasn't going to chew that on camera. I told a lie, right? Forgive me, Lord. But I'm sure I'm chewing it. Hey, now let that come back up to temperature. And, um... Mm-hmm. Now. Devin, you want scrambled eggs? Yeah? Okay. Give me about six eggs, Jayla. Try to take your time. Oh, I want to help. Wait, see, you, that's why accidents happen in the kitchen. Just wait a minute. Don't try to be fast trying to beat her handing me the eggs. Take your time and get an egg. You get you get three. There you go. That's how you compromise. And don't be greedy, Mia. What do you mean by that? That means trying to get too many. Okay, your your thing is done. All right. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Yeah. Truly, I do. Uh, can I get a... Wait. You can get a knuckle sandwich. Uh, uh, mommy, you won't punch me. Why I won't? <laughs> you can't punch your kids. Who told you that lie? That's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. Who told you that? You can hit them. You can't punch me. Why can't? You can't knock the teeth out. Why can't? You can't knock oh, the gums out. Come here. Uh-huh. See, you won't let me try it with you, uh-huh. See there? You scared? No. Get on, Super Duty. Okay. No. Can I get uh, some grits? No, because you're going to eat them. And get out of my kitchen with your thumb in your mouth. Go wash your hands. So while that's frying, I'm going to go ahead and crack my eggs. Hey, Corey. How are you, Corey? Bless you, son. Hey, guys. You got the water. See what that on the phone. Hey, guys. I am back. I had a phone call to come through. I am putting my last batch of... um. Macro patties in. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is what I need you to get. How much is that? I don't know. They sell them up there. The um, shampoo and the leave-in conditioner and moisturizer. You don't need this because I already have this. Trying to send her to the beauty supply store so I can get started on doing hair today. She knows she's going to want that wig tightened up in a few minutes. I don't like half doing stuff. I, I want everything on deck when I get in the mode to um, doing hair. So that is it for that. Dancing, y'all. 
So I got my stuff out for my dinner tonight. Um, my husband is putting ribs and chicken on the grill. Got my bag of collards. My mustards. And my turnips. Yeah. Can you um, look under my face? Uh uh, look at my hands taste nasty. Good. Go get me um. There should be some conditioner under my sink in my bathroom. Bring it to me. In that little gold bottle. What gold bottle? That right there. Oh that? No, I don't want that one. I want another one. It's in a jar? It's in a bottle. Yeah, the gold bottle? I don't think that's conditioning, is it? Go look oh, and see. Who it, oh, who I don't it? know. Go look and see. Child, we both confused in here. Yeah. So while those cooking, I'm going to turn on my eyes so I can go ahead and scrap up my eggs. These last four would be my husband. He don't like his food cold. His bacon will be cold today. I might have to throw it in the pan and heat it up. Yeah, that's it. If they get through this. cap on their head. I'm going to condition their hair first. Hey, me I wash it. No. Come on. Corey got the door open. I put my tablespoon of butter in. Hey, can you push mute on your daddy TV? That thing that went up loud. Jalen. Jalen. Y'all see how chaotic my house be? You on the TV. Hurry up. Make sure you part the middle. Move it. When scrambling eggs, I do not like to see the white part of the egg, so I beat my eggs really good so that I don't see that. I don't like the taste of it. Onion and bell pepper and um, sausage beat in it. Get you some water. That's what happens when your mouth dry. Oh, that's cold. Thank you. 
Thank you. You are welcome, baby. Thank you, You want me to heat your bacon up, or is that fine? Oh, yeah. All right. So, how many patties do you want? Just one. Nine? Grits, eggs, bacon. Eggs, bacon. Mia, I don't want that noise on. Put it in your ear. <laughs> Baby. You're welcome. All right, guys. That is it. These are my Jack Michael patties. All done up. That is all of them. That's our grit, our bacon, and the grits. And we're getting ready to eat, y'all. Bye, sugar. You want to let me do it?